If you're running into storage issues on your MacBook with macOS 26 Tahoe, system cache can quickly pile up and take unnecessary space. So if you want to delete them, let's see how to clear and free up the system data storage on your MacBook Air, Pro, Mac Mini, Mac Studio, etc. So if we go to Settings, from there to General, and then to Storage, we can see different colors for separate categories of storage on our MacBook. You can also scroll down to find the system data. As you can see, in my case, it's calculating, as well as it's showing calculating and changing the data and constantly changing the data in this bar. Now, this happens if you've recently updated macOS or a use time machine with your Mac. Now, whatever system data is showing in your case, most of this data comes from cache files and folders created by apps, browsers, and the system. So let's see how to delete them. Open the Finder app. From the Go tab, hit Go to, and then write down tilde forward slash library, and then just hit Enter. Here in this alphabetic list, just find out the cache folder, enter the folder, all the cache from different apps, games, browser, program, function will appear in here. Now you might see some folder size is not showing. So to check it out and then hit command J. And from this pop-up box, make sure to select calculate all sizes. As soon as you do that, all the cache size will appear in this list. Now you can select them in ascending order so you can see which folders got the biggest size of cache. And then you can either select that folder specifically or just press command A and select all these folders and just move them to trash. And similarly, if you go back to the library section and search for the log folder, enter the folder, you can select the log files and put them into the trash as well. And lastly, don't forget to empty the trash. Now after that, just give your MacBook a restart. So after the restart, if you come back to the storage section, you will see a significant difference in the system file size. And along with that, if any optimization option is available for any app, you can enable that option as well from here. Just keep doing it every now and then and you are good to go. Thanks for watching.